Hello folks, welcome back to the shop, and today I'm building a service mount LED tester. I actually have to build two of them. I built this one and decided I'm going to turn the camera on for the second one and show you exactly what I'm doing here. And I'm using this little clamp here to tighten down the little copper piece which will hold the battery wire and the test wire. Using my little Albrecht sensitive drill here drill the hole for the bolt. And here I'm just doing a little pre-assembly just to make sure everything fits okay and the copper pieces are not shorted together. And you can see everything fits just fine here. Now I just got to make sure the wires here are trimmed and tinned so they can solder on the switch a little easier. And as you can see, this is not rocket science. It's just a couple of AAA batteries. There's a little resistor in there that goes in the positive line that'll go to the switch. That'll go out to the LED to be tested. So I know what you're thinking. Why do they not just use a multimeter in the diode setting to check the LEDs? Well, that was my suggestion, but and they would have to buy meters and they'd have to train people how to use them. They just want something simple so they can just touch the LED, find out if it's in backwards or not, and to make sure the right color is in the right spot. So that's why I wound up building this. and just attaching the battery wire to the switch here. And what am I using for a test pin to touch the LED? Just a paper clip. Works just fine. And here I'm just measuring the paper clip to make sure I get the right drill. And thankfully the mill was not being used so I could drill through using a mill. If you've ever used a mill like a bridge port or anything to drill holes, it is absolutely painful to go back to a drill press. These things are so smooth it's just unreal. I broke four drill bits doing the first one before I had this sensitive drill chuck. And here I'm just putting a bend on the pin that's going to go through the copper so I can solder it in. You want to make sure you use lots of flux on this thing. This copper is actually a piece of pipe that I ground through and pounded down flat to use for this purpose. just have to assemble it and do the other side. Now I notice I'm using the largest tip I've got available for this iron. You want a big tip so you can keep the heat on the part so it doesn't get too cold. I just got to do the final assembly and test it out. Now 
Now I just got to cut the wires to length and get these bent up in such a way that they will easily attach to the LEDs. I just have to install the batteries here. I did a voltmeter test off camera so I know that the polarity is okay. And And you can see it seems to be working just fine. Now I just got to mark this thing up, mark polarity and all that stuff on there so they know what's what. Make it look good and I can wrap this project up. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.